Buongiorno from Lake Como. <laughs> Sounded like a musical introduction. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. From oh, Lake curb Como. Then. Oh God, you get so close to the curb. Yeah, because there's bikes everywhere. Yeah, but you're gonna curb the wheel. What? Well, the wheel? I'd rather hit the wheel than the bike. Hello, good morning. Trip. We go from one side of the lake to the other. Yeah. We thought it would be a good idea, but it's not. The roads are crazy. They're like single lane traffic size, but traffic coming in both directions. Cyclists everywhere, buses trying to get through, pedestrians everywhere. Motorbikes. Motorbikes. A thousand Vespers. Daniel, are you enjoying driving on these roads? <laughs> this road trip is not going to plan at all. why I'm speaking so much. Dan needs a mental health day today. I don't need a mental health day. Dan needs a mental health day. He's feeling a bit quiet and a little bit not himself today. No, it's, so, I'm not feeling myself. I think it, I think it's good for you to have a go. Good try and put this all on me. So I'm going to try and take you guys along the journey of the road trip and it's going to be quite bad. It's my first video. I'm not a natural in front of the camera. I'm really awkward and formal and I avoid eye contact. Um, so hi, my name is Natalia. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going to the western side of the lake because George Clooney has a house there. Is that why? No. Is that why we're going? No, but I did read up the western part of the lake is meant to have the most expensive real estate. It's where all the is where all the famous people live on the west side of the lake. So I'll be interested to see if, it, if it's actually any nicer than... Where were we yesterday, the north? In 50 metres. Nice. Yeah. And um, we're driving through Como now, it's mental. Right, we've graded through Como and actually, Dan, do you agree, driver? The roads have been sweet, haven't they? Yep. Like this, the whole way. Well, after Como. So happy days! We've only got about half an hour left and then we get to our first destination. Right guys, we've arrived at our first stop at Menagio. So I'm going to show you Menagio Promenade. It is so beautiful here. I'll show you, it's really nice. You can walk all along it, all the way to like four or five villages along. You can walk for hours if you really want to. Look at this. It goes like that all the way around the coast, uh, oh, not coastline, all the way around the lake. Like even over there, I think that's where James Bond was filmed over there. That's where we're going to go in a minute, Leno. Oh, look at this car. Nice little Ferrari. You can also do boat rentals here. The boat rent rentals, you can get them. Um, we didn't do it. It's too windy. It's too windy, but you can get um, a boat literally on your own for three hours for 190 euro. You don't need like a, a boat license or anything. You can just cruise along the lake on your own. I don't really know how far you can go in three hours though. Probably not very far. There's a lot of people here get married. Look, it's another bride. Get out of the way. It's beautiful. There's a really nice atmosphere here as well. Very relaxed. Really relaxed. You could sit here for hours and just sit here and watch people. It's beauty. This place is a hundred times better with the sun out. Yeah. It's a shame that we haven't had the sun really. That, that wind has been just so relentless. Mm. This is way better. This little lavender stall. Got honey as well. Mm, that smells unreal as well. It smells like you could eat it. Yeah. Vanilla or something. Oh, nice. mm. You know you can make so much stuff out of lavender. Mm. I'd like to get this candle, please. Yes, this candle is not. It's not. 
Ah, okay. Delicious. Smells delicious. Yes. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Mm. Right, I can tell I'm in Italy, right? In England, you get, you get like a coffee, Americano, latte, cappuccino, espresso, but here we've got, that you've got coffee freddo shakarato, cafe freddo shakarato caretto. <laughs> Coffee's over here as well. I can't even find coffees on mine. Chocolata calada. I kind of want to go for this one. Oh, I can't even find, can't even find the right page. What is a yeah. Cafe Freddo, this one? It's an iced coffee with alcohol, with barely sambuca. Oh, we both ordered the Chacaretto Coretto, which is iced coffee with Baileys. It tastes very watery. How many is negative? Shit sandwich, okay, so. But, right. it's a lovely setting. Beautiful. Probably the nicest place we've been to here. Yeah, we both love it here. The western side of the lake is much better than any other place that we've been to. The other place have been beautiful, but here's better, isn't it? I would say this is nicer, yeah. Really nice. In my opinion. In my opinion too. Bellagio is nice. Mm. To walk around the little streets and that. Lorena's nice, but here's nicer. But this is this is really nice here. It's got a really it might, nice atmosphere. It might just be because the sun's out today and it's not windy. Mm, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could be. But it is a nice setting. There's like a lot of uh, places along the waterfront. But when you think of Lake Como, this is what I was expecting. Yeah, same. It was just a nightmare drive here. I mean, it was great for me. Passenger Princess, I had a great time. Really nice views the whole way. I didn't get to see any views. I probably saw about two seconds worth of views the whole time. But the good thing is if you drive over here, you can get the, the car ferry across again to Bellagio, which we could uh, do. We could do that. We could do that. Oh, I mean, I could drive and you could be passenger princess and enjoy no. the views. No way. The roads are too chaotic. But look, the, like the trees there, little things like that is why I like this place. Them type Let of trees. Let me show you what Dan appreciates. I don't know, it's a fountain, it's just so beautiful. What flavours are you getting, Daniel? Yeah, I think it's Cremino. Cremino and Snickers. Standard. Can I get the same size cup, please? Can I get the um, cheesecake and tiramisu, please? It's your first ice cream since being in Italy. Criminal. That's criminal, Daniel. Grazie. Grazie. That's quite nice. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Love the accuracy of this drawing. Right. Menage tick. We probably spent a couple of hours here. I don't think you need any longer than that here. Like Dan said, the main square is like the main bit to see. It's nice to have a cup of coffee and lunch um, and have a little walk around, but you probably don't need that long here. Like maybe a couple of hours. Do you agree? Agreed. Next, Tremezzo. Tremezzano. Just like that, 10 minutes down the road, we have landed at Tremazzo. Gardens look nice up there. Beautiful. There's lots of restaurants along the water and the landscape is crazy. That's where we that that right there is Bellagio. Our accommodation is up there. This morning we drove all the way down to Bellagio and then we drove all the way along the coast, all the way down, right the way all down the way to Como around. and all the way back up to where we are now. Yeah. We've basically seen all of the lake. <laughs> we just haven't seen like the northern part of it, but parking here is quite hectic. 
Yeah, there's not many parking There's places. not a lot of parking on the road. There might be like some if you go in a little bit, but right by the water, there isn't, there is a lot, but there's also a lot of people here. Um, How much was the parking? Like two pound. The two, parking's very reasonable. Two euros. Two, two euro. Oh look, there's a little pool. What's the point of the pool? I don't know. Well, people don't really seem to swim in a lake. I don't know if you're allowed to. Might I haven't seen anyone swim in the lake. I had heard somebody died in this lake not too long ago, actually. But yeah, that... English boy. The English? Yeah. What are we doing? Going to find a pizza place? Yeah. It's up there, is it? Um. Yeah, look at this building. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. I bet it probably costs like five hundred pound a night to stay in there. Yeah, it doesn't look cheap, is it? And we can go up there. I think that goes to the uh, old town. Okay. Here you go. Ugh, uphill. Restaurante. I smell lavender. Yeah, same. I hope this isn't a dead end. You told me we can go up here. I thought we could. Yeah, I think I was chatting shit. It's down again, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Look all these cars. Five star. Five star luxury with this view. Oh, you can't see. Dan. That hotel, how much per night? Which I think it is. Yeah. 700. <laughs> For one night, 1,600 euro. Really? Excluding taxes. Wow. Breakfast included though. <laughs> Probably not going to catch us doing anything like that. No. We can afford five star luxury in India. Oh. But not in Italy. <laughs> We'd be common folk. <laughs> We're budget travellers. I'm gonna get two pizzas. We haven't had lunch. And we're probably not gonna have dinner, are we? No. So I think if I eat double now, I'll cancel it out. <laughs> Tango, let's see what's in here. Yeah. Poor bastard doesn't know what he's getting himself into, does he? What? You don't ever say, oh. I love love. Obviously. Miserable to sod. Someone else got married? Another person. Jesus. Yeah. There's two. Popular place to get married. Oh yeah. See, we paid to go in that villa on the other side. This is way better. These gardens here are a hundred times better. What do you think, Nat? What, what do you reckon was better? I think they're both nice. Considering we've just walked into this off the streets. What the hell was that all about? I think they're both lovely because the setting is fantastic. Speaking of settings, it's a, what have you done to this camera? I haven't touched it. The background is white. Thank you. 
Yeah. Even like you see all the aloe vera plants on there. It kind of adds to the weird sort of spiky theme they got going on with the little things above the gate. They got them up there as well, like little lanterns. It's just a weird, weird looking building. It's a mystery. I bet Witch lives in there. I said I'm kind of losing interest now. You're losing interest. So when I asked you five minutes ago, a lot has changed. What's changed? I really wanted to see that bay, but I feel like it, look, we're there. It's quite far away. Do you want to drive around there? Yeah. <sighs> okay. So we've got to walk all the way back to the car now. Yeah. I mean, we see that cool house. We see that cool house. Yeah, all right. We did see the cool house. At least it's supposed to be a road trip, so yeah. we're supposed to go in the car, really. I mean, we've just paid for an extra two hours of parking, but. What's two, you're right. Uh, okay, add it on. We've actually not spent that much money since we've got here. We haven't actually. No. And how much we spent? About 250 quid? Yeah, about 250. So. £125 per person. £125 a person in three days. In oh, yeah, that's just spending money. That's all right, safe as. Oh. <laughs> 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 Right, after a day of driving around this lake, I would say if you're gonna come here, don't drive around it in a car. This is a pain in the ass. If you're not too comfortable with driving, it's gonna be really stressful. You have to be really patient. There's a lot of traffic, as you can see right now. You're better off using the ferries. Unless you've got a push bike or a motorbike and you wanna do the road trip around it. Because in a car, this is long. There's a lot of waiting, a lot of queues. A lot of dodgy bits. So yeah, I wouldn't do. I would get a ferry next time, 100. percent Was way easier. Oh. All right. Mama. I gave up. I gave up with that traffic. We're gonna get the ferry across with the car. The thing is, he said he thinks that there's probably too many cars already going on the next one. So we're going to have to wait for the one after that. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass, But this is way better than that traffic. That was that was mad traffic, wasn't it? That was, yeah. It was literally standstill. Yeah. We must have been in there for about 20 minutes and went about three minutes worth of driving at normal speed. It was crazy. So, yeah, we decided to turn around and come to the nearest ferry port. And we're just going to get the ferry straight from here. We drive onto it and then it'll just take us straight across to Bellagio and our apartment is literally right there. So yeah, we're gonna go get the ticket now and uh, hopefully hopefully we can get on the next one but he, he doesn't think we will, he reckons we'll be on the one after that. Let's go and get a ticket. Look at these old ones. They're sick mate, there's loads of people in old classic cars here. Old cars, old bikes. Everyone's just living the dream, aren't they? Just doing a trip around the lake in their in their old cars. Let's see how much this is going to cost. No. Yeah, eggs you're on. Over there. Sorry. How many people? Two. How many? Two. Two. Do we? Fifteen euro fifty cents. Card, please. Grazie mille. It's so funny me speaking English the whole time, and then I feel Italian going grazie mille. <laughs> I'm well thirsty. Do you reckon we can find somewhere for a drink later over there? Let's see if we can get a drink. Well thirsty, man. 15 euros 50 to get across there in the car. That's, that's not bad at all, is it? It's quicker as well. Oh, that would have taken us so long in that traffic. Little shop over here. Maybe they're going to do some, some drinks. You want a drink? Ciao. Ciao. Oh, water, big one. What are you getting? Ice tea. This one? Okay. That's the lemonade. You want, what do you want? This one? Peach one. Okay. Oh. Still water, okay? See. Um. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we'll take away. Yeah. Ciao. Oh. Yes. That's what we need. 
Ah, that's the most refreshing drink I've had. Smells so nice. Get, let me have some then, bloody scavenger. Make me pay for everything and you take it. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. It's a joint card. Thank you. Don't know, I've only just had a sip. Piss off. I want the water. Oh. Jesus, woman. Why are you so hostile now? It's time for bed, isn't it? It's past your bedtime, that's why. I'm just sticking up for myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're attacking me. I'm the one who needs to stick up for myself. It took us about 15 minutes to get back on the boat. Two hours to drive there, 15 minutes to get back. So We did queue up for an hour though to we get did onto queue up, the ferry. We did queue up for an hour, but it was a lot less stressful. I'd rather sit there and queue up. But that's the long thing about the ferry, you've got a queue, you've got, especially if you're in a car. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely easier to drive in. What, did, what have you learned from today? That the west, the west side of Lake Como is a lot nicer than the other places we've been to. In our opinion. Mm. Which makes sense is there it's the posher part. Yeah. It's a more luxurious part and you can definitely tell, you can feel it. Mm. But the price is no more expensive. Like it doesn't cost more money to drink or eat here. I can't comment about accommodation but it did look nice though. It, yeah. I just can't believe how bad the traffic was. I know. It was nuts. It was cars, bikes, push bikes everywhere. Yeah. Madness. Bit of an adventure though, like if you were just driving around the lake on a road trip, that'd be a sick, that'd be a sick uh, uh, trip. There's a reason why there's so many motorbikes on the road. Mm. It's such a lovely place to do that. And yeah. bicycles as well, we've seen so many people on, like obviously doing biking tours, we saw a family yesterday with a little kid in the back and they had like, like a map and they had all of like loads of bags attached to the front and rear of the wheel. Yeah, they had bags, yeah. airbags all over the bikes. They were doing yeah. a full-on road trip or push bike with a kid in the back like, on a little trailer. Like one-year-old, yeah. like baby. Yeah. Mm. That was what inspired our road trip today. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed your travel day with me, getting to know me, because I understand I am a bit quiet on this channel, but I'm a bit awkward in front of the camera. Um, yeah, see you on our next trip.